Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It's Monday. You know what that means. It's market outlook time. Let's take a look at what could be happening during this last week of team of the season. Ultimate tots. I'm going to talk about stuff that we know, stuff that we could be seeing. That ultimate tots guaranteed SBC if that does get added to the code. And just what we can expect with a lot of cards this week. I know a lot of you guys are wanting to know when can you buy teams? What's the outlook on some of that stuff? Again, that's all up in question depending on what happens with the Euros content. And we'll talk a lot about that this week. But uh, I think some of the stuff is going to reach more of a lower point or just reach a point where it's going to get more rare after this week, especially if EA don't do summer heat. So we might even figure out some information about the summer heat or whatever is coming out with the Euros this next Friday during this week, like with loading screens or tweets or whatever. So we'll talk about the potential for that as well. Now, right now, again, it's Sunday, squad battle rewards time frame, a little bit after that. And a lot of these cards weekly sell off has taken them down a decent amount, especially just like I looked at last week, some of the team of the season cards that are still in packs that are going out of packs today, specifically this Nani card, right? Who was extinct for, you guys know, like 650,000 coins for the longest time. He was like 700, 800K. He is now down to 480,000 coins and uh, still getting relisted up right now and kind of dropping there. So um, right now, what I'm kind of looking at is maybe this Nani card, pretty rare item, Tavernier, some of these other MLS or uh, rest of the world Tots cards, definitely watching them dropping off a little bit right now. You know, Sazinia 57K, Orsic 50,000 coins. So some of these guys are getting pretty low with that last bit of supply before they go out of packs. I don't know if you're going to see a big rise. Like I bought Malin last week and um, I bought that card for like right around 100,000 coins and he went to over 140 just a couple days later. I don't know if you're going to see any insane rises. I think like Nani or Tavernier would be, you know, the card that people want to buy at the most. Um, but yeah, that's just kind of my opinion on what's going on. And of course, if you look around Ben Yedder, 1.35, Depay, 640. Some of these prices are really, really, really down. Why are people selling off this weekend, right? There's not a lot of content out. What's going on? Well, there's not a ton of content, but there's enough content to keep people interested. And there are player picks that are out right now. Even though I think these are really not good value, I really don't think these are worth it, in my opinion. Uh, it only costs you eight players. So people are coming in here. They're turning in some gold rares. Um, I'm not going to do one of these on the video because I really don't have much of my club, but I mean, people are doing these player picks, right? And the thing that I'm going to just caution with these packs right away is number one, a, it is probably going to rinse some coins from this market this week because whenever there are player picks like this available, people just go bananas for them, right? People just love player picks. They love opening those types of packs. Uh, but again, what I'll say is it's so hard to pack these ultimate tots cards. Yes, some people might get lucky. They might be able to do it. Rares and non-rares both, I believe, are up in price. Non-rares were at 1.1K earlier today. It looks like they're right around 850 now because people are just going and buying cards to do those packs. But again, it is going to be so hard to pack these players right here. It's really, really not going to be easy. So, of course, you have seen some price drops. Footpin's bugging out. Messi and Salah not extinct. Kimmich 470, that is down a lot. Teo Hernandez 560, De Bruyne 514. De Bruyne had a big drop today because he was named the PFA Player of the Year. And uh, we did some more research and we were talking about it on stream. Usually, EA actually gives the SBC to the PFA Player of the Year. So hopefully, in the next couple of days, we would see a De Bruyne SBC and maybe a Phil Foden SBC award winner cards because Phil Foden won Young Player of the Year. That'd be really awesome. So again, you're seeing a lot of these Ultimate Tots cards drop, right? And this is nothing new. We're going to talk about this heading into the week. If the content stays slow, I would argue that the content during Ultimate Tots is overall an L, right? This Ultimate Team of the Season is not very good. We did not have any player SBCs yesterday. And again, I said yesterday that, hey, Sunday's content is going to set the tone for this week. And we had, in my opinion... The 80 plus player pick is like the smallest of W's out there. And the reason why I say that is because I haven't gotten really good fodder from this. If it's really cracked for your account and for you guys, then maybe it's worth it, right? But fodder is so cheap. A lot of people have fodder right now. So if only you're going to send a lot of coins and trying to packing ultimate tots cards, which are just so very hard to pack, I really don't feel like it is worth it. So that's my opinion. We've only had two player SBC, the Javi Martinez, Usman Dembele. We have had icons that have expired now, uh, like Drogba and those guys. They have not been replaced. And again, I feel like we're just waiting for that next big upswing in content. Whatever EA is waiting for, whether it's the Euros, whether it's to actually start summer heat, whatever it may be, there's got to be something coming, right? And again, that's going to lead me to talk to Fodder at some point in this video as well. And just again, talk about that because Fodder is just going to be very, very low. But on the market, 
market. Since cards are so rare, they're going to be incredible to trade with. I bought this at all. And I'm saying this because I want you guys to watch those right mids. Because Usman Dembele, yes, has caused a lot of right mids to crash. I got on a tall undercut here at 278. I think right now he's like 290. Um, but this guy, I mean, to a lot of people, this Atal card is still going to be very usable for them. And just like we see a lot of times with SBCs like this that crash the market. Like, remember that when the Digne moments, Tots moments SBC came out, a lot of your Prem left backs took a hit. But then they rebounded, right? This Kingsley Coleman, I bought two of these for 330 because he's a very rare card. Wow, 320. That's a big undercut. So I was trying to sell these earlier today. And I didn't get the sales out. But I'm just going to hold on to him, right? Because I think he's going to rebound later on this week. Because Ultimate Tots content this week, the way that it's going, um, you know, a lot of this stuff, it doesn't really, to me, look like that we're going to have an insane, insane week of content. It really doesn't. It feels like, to me, we're going to have maybe a little bit of a quieter one. We're going to have some SBCs, and I'll talk to you guys about those. But I don't really know if it's going to be an insane week. So, those are just kind of my feelings right now. And that's why I'm kind of trying to get involved maybe with some of these cards that are being sold off so much that are very rare, especially if it's a card that did not get into ultimate team of the season. Like this Goretzka I'm watching. I want to watch the young, of course, with the links to Usman, uh, Dembele's SBC card, you know, Hyunmin's son. So there's a lot of cards out in this game right now that have dropped off from the weekend league sell-off, icons included. Uh, and I think some of those could bounce back, right? If the content is really not that good. But again, what's hype this week, right? What's hype this week is the 80 plus player picks. If you're trying to spam those to get really, really lucky in packing Mbappe, Messi, De Bruyne, I mean, the drop rates from those can't be really good. A potential player of the year SBC, which hopefully would come again, not guaranteed to, but also let's talk about a little guaranteed team of the season SBC. I want to talk about that as well. Ultimate Tots guaranteed. That's going to be a highlight of this week too. Now I want to talk about what it was last year because last year it was a bit expensive. It was an 89 rated squad. It was 320,000 coins. And as you can see, SBC fodder rose with this SBC because it came out as 319K and it rose to 368 by the time that it was gone. They were releasing decent SBC content in terms of the upgrades, right? We also had a deluxe tots sf guaranteed which was a top five league guaranteed card um it was not the ultimate tots only it was just the top five league so again 89 rated squ uh, squad one tots player 70 chemistry this sbc was expensive last year for the ultimate team of the season which of course if we take a look at that squad uh, I'll take a look and show you here in a second. I mean, you you know, it, it makes sense why that SBC was pretty expensive because you had players in here, multiple million coin players uh, in the squad. So obviously it's going to be more than your Hummels, Carvajal, Hall, your Summer, your Henderson, Immobile. If you guys remember, it was the guaranteed Sancho pack last year as well. The Sancho car was literally getting packed in every single one. EA had to like take it down and re-release it. There was a lot of, you know, situations with that. Some people, and then if that happens, right, just a general rule of thumb. If content is released that you think is not right, or it just does, something is happening in FIFA that does not seem right, um, do it right away. Because oftentimes, if you do it right away, you might end up getting double the reward because if you can do it before EA realizes there's a problem and they take it down, then usually what they'll do is they'll either compensate you with the cards back for doing that SBC or they'll let you keep whatever you got and then re-release that SBC again at a later time, either in the day or at a later date. So just mental rule of thumb there. That's for like year round anyways. But again, I think that the ultimate tots again this year would probably be 88 or 89. I think the ultimate tots as a whole is a bit cheaper than it was last year, if, if I'm being completely honest. So hopefully they'd make it an 88, but that could make some of the 85 to 86 market go up because again, team of the seasons that are high rated, people have those in their clubs. They're going to be putting those into that SBC and they're going to be buying some of those 84s, 85s. Now, again, I think tonight I'm going to be doing a big time club stock. Now, again, some of the 84s are trickling up a little bit and I think a lot of people are going to be investing in fodder. I do. I think this is going to be a time where a lot of people go out and buy 84s, 4,000 coins to these guys, man. It's, it's crazy, right? These, in my opinion, are too low. 85s or 7k too low. 83s or sorry, 86s are too low. If you can get 83s for like, you know, low 1k's like 1100 1200 coins, get involved, right? 87s really 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 low. So, this is a in for me and the re reason why I've continued talking about fodder for these last couple days, but I just want to again spam it to you guys and talk to you guys about it a lot because I really really feel like this is going to be a point in the market where we have supply stopping, right? These are the last lightning rounds that we might see for a couple weeks. We really might be seeing the last lightning rounds that we saw yesterday on Sunday 
for the last couple of weeks. I don't know if they're going to do a pack promo around the Euros. I really, really, really don't expect it. So this is an incredible time to stock up on fodder, finish up an SBC if you do want to. Now, again, I mean, even, even look at Usman Dembele's price, 640,000 coins. He was 750K when he first came out. So, I mean, all I'm saying is this fodder is primed for a rise because, again, the content's been slow, but it's going to pick back up in some way, shape, or form. So, again, probably just one ultimate TOTS guarantee this week. Again, talking about fodder and the guaranteed SBCs, I would really doubt it if they did two of these. But what we're going to have to see this week is, is we're going to have to see some code. We're going to have to see some code dropped with this pack being added in because I do not believe it has been added yet. Speaking of code, though, there was this that was added yesterday. Uh, and Footwatch added two new car designs, Copa Libertadores, uh, some sort of car design, and a Sud America car design. Now, these are not man of the match car designs. These are brand new into the game. And this is what people are thinking might be actually coming out today on Monday to kind of replace, to kind of replace um, the Latin America team of the season, potentially. We're not really sure, but these types of cards might be in packs tomorrow. Now, the only thing, and this is just a very this is a tinfoil hat theory. As you guys know, we say this a lot, right? This is just something that I'm not expecting to happen, but hey, you never know. It could. The last time when they dropped these Conmy Bowl man of the matches and they dropped like kind of Conmy Bowl like team of the season cards. Wow, this Butro Grenio was insanely low. 900K. Wow. Um, you guys remember like the Tevez from last year. You, you remember those sorts of cards, right? Like the Tevez had like a 93 rated item. When they did that, they also released the two for one packs. Uh, in regards to the buy one, get one free and foot player days. They literally had a foot player days. Now that was back in March. And again, I don't understand why EA would need to run a foot player days promo right now. But all I'm saying is, I think I'm, I'm just keeping my tinfoil hat on because I really don't think EA is going to run foot player days with two for one packs. It wouldn't make sense. Uh, but if they did, that would be, I mean, that'd be crazy time for the market as well. So just kind of putting that out there, I don't think that's gonna impact the game that much because the, the Conmee Bowl cards in the whole game sense as a whole. If you're a huge Libertadores fan, then boom, it's massive for you, right? Those cards are awesome. But for the whole landscape of the entire game of FIFA, I really don't think that it impacts too much of what's gonna be going on this week. Now again, hopefully this week we get some good player SBCs. We've had two, right? We've had good two good ones with Dembele and Xavi Martinez, but we need more, right? EA Sports, we need more. We need this content to turn up uh, because, right, team of the season is ending. So you got to keep your user base involved. And if you want longevity for this game, well, you know, let's see your plans of action kind of finish off and, and continue on with the longevity piece or portion of this game. So that's kind of what I think about, you know, that sort of stuff this week. Now, again, I want to take a look back at ultimate team of the season last year and also just talk about what happened with the market, right? What happens with this stuff? Yes, during the summertime, a lot of cards get rare. A lot of cards go down. Some cards go up, right? And I want to look at these ultimate tots cards specifically. If there's any of them that are in the current team that you want to put in your team, you know, some of the guys like Mbappe at 5'5", five, five, Messi dropping down a bunch, Salah, Ronaldo, uh, you know, Bruno Fernandes really isn't down that much. Um, you know, I would watch on some of these cards, and I think there's a couple different examples because last year we really didn't see the market absolutely like just go to, to the, the bottom of the barrel until, you know, the end of June. The end of June, early July is when we saw this stuff really, really, really go down. And that was when the Summer Heat content was really ramping up. Now, Summer Heat last year started like right after Ultimate Tots. And then the preseason promo came in July and in August. So, I mean, Summer Heat was a really good SBC promo. Um, now, I'm not saying it's going to be the same this year, right? Because if they do Euros cards and Euros content and put cards like that in packs, then that might change some of the value of these cards that are in packs right now, like some of the team of the season cards. So that's just, of course, up to EA and what they're going to do. Um, but last year, these TOTS cards were still the best in the game. They were a very good value. And of course, COVID going on, right? There was a lot more demand. So I don't know if prices are going to hold this long this year. I'm going to be completely honest with you, but I think they could hold for a week or two depending on the content that we get. You see this Mars do dropped down a lot during Ultimate Tots. He boomed on Ultimate Tots Rewards Day. And then, you know, he was really cheap on that Monday sell-off, 427K during Ultimate Team of the Season. He rebounded back up to 523 before dropping down for the rest of the year. Now let's take a look at a guy like Mbappe, very high tier card. He goes into, he's Ultimate Tots, right? Hits a low of 3.16. That very same weekend goes to 3.3, so a 200K swing. But then really he's staying between 3.2 and 3.3 million coins. Again, 
until July, then he drops off to 2.4. And then the only other option here, and the other thing that I had to say is, if there's any low tier cards that you want from this Ultimate Tot Squad, the cards that are gonna get packed the most, DeVry, Oblak, Cancelo, Kane, right? I really wanna carry Kane for my team. Whether I have to buy him or whether I can get fortunate enough to pack him in reds or doing a couple player picks this week, those cards are gonna get packed a decent amount. Watch what happened to Carvajal last year during rewards. So he was 300K, dropped off from being in packs, right? But then he was 200,000 coins ish. We dropped 100,000 coins from the weekend league supply. Dropped, dropped, dropped. Look, look what happened on rewards day. He goes from 193 all the way down to that next weekend league sell off to 134. Now rebounds back a little bit after that because he's the best right back in La Liga, Real Madrid links, stuff like that. But Again, just watch out for some of these uh, Ultimate Tots cards that are on the lower tier when we get to rewards this week. Like, I know Harry Kane seems really, really cheap for a 96 rated item. I know Oblak is getting almost to a price where, like, excuse me, this is becoming a really good SBC fodder investment. But, in my opinion, some of these lower things are going to drop even lower. Even Kimmich, I think, is going to drop lower. Salad, De Bruyne, potentially. Especially if De Bruyne gets an SBC. This card sitting at 500k, if they make that SBC like a 300k uh, SBC, the exact same uh, squad, not squad, sorry, the exact same stats as what KDB has, then that would be incredible. And that's going to be a lot of hype. So that's just kind of my thought this week on what's going on. I'm really heavy on the fodder, right? And I'm really also heavy on just buying cards that have big time undercuts because these TOTS cards are going to become very rare, but they're still going to be in demand because they're some of the best in the game, right? I love trading with this Malin. I love trading with this Dumfries. This is the best air divisi striker in the game. He's 130K. He was 170 this past weekend. Again, I'm watching Alessandrini, French right mid. Those are the hot links right now. I know that Usman came out. Usman's a 600K card. Alessandrini was 320, 330. He's down literally 33% from where he was. Bundesliga Tots cards are super rare. I love watching these cards. Again, Coleman being 320, super duper low. LaCroix was like 540K at some point this weekend. Right now, he's 479. Yeah, he was like 540, I think, on Saturday even. 545. So, if you know, if I could snag one of these at like 460, 450 even, I'm down, right? Because these rare cards that people are going to want to use are just going to get rare. And you're going to see fluctuations like you saw with this Mares last year during weekend league rewards for ultimate tots. There's going to be a lot of coins put on the market this week, right? For the high tier end of the market. And if people need to be linking some of these stuff together, uh, like this Mars last year, the right wing positions were scarce and you just see a huge, huge bounce here. So we'll be looking at some of that stuff later on this week to see what's out there because what could be going up with the cards that are in ultimate team of the season. But again, um, you know, it's ultimate tots and the content again is going to have to carry this week, but I'm going to be sending a lot of coins into fodder. I'm going to do a huge club stock, a lot of players across the board. Like literally I'm thinking I might even drop like 700,000 coins, seriously, because I think that's going to be an incredible, incredible thing going forward. Now it's going to be hard not to use that club stock fodder uh, for actually, you know, uh, doing SBCs, but I had to, I'm going to have to have some, uh, I guess, self-control in terms of that. But I, I think fodder is going to be a play going forward. I don't like investing in fodder all the time, but I think that it's, it's got its spaces, right? This Cantona is ridiculously cheap 425. I mean, this is easily going to bounce back. So, uh, to, you know, to kind of stop myself from spending too much on fodder, I might buy some rare cards tonight so that I can just put my coins into other things and, of course, finish the weekend league as well and uh, and get some of that done and dusted. Uh, but that's kind of my plan for tonight, boys. That really is my plan for even today on Monday. I'm really curious to see what the Conny Bowl cards mean and what EA is going to drop if they drop any pack code and what the content is going to look like this week if EA ramps it up, if they heave it pretty chill. And because uh, there's a lot of potential for the Euros. So I think that's all. Again, we're just in that waiting game once again for what's going to be happening during the Euros this week. Now, we're going to follow the market very closely this week in terms of the out of packs cards. I mean, it's going to be very easy to make coins, getting stuff on bid. One thing I will say right now is this Man of the Match Conte card. Man of the Match cards always get very low on Sunday nights. Uh, and this Conte was just 375. The brand new Conte Man of the Match. Uh, which, by the way, again, I said it last night, but this is an atrocity from EA Sports that they are putting out this card as the, you know, the card that we get in FIFA um, now for just commemorating what the Champions League victory for Chelsea with this card being the man of the match. Again, I think it's just atrocious, in my opinion, that that is 
what is going on with this card, man? I think it, that's just bad because I think this card should be a 94 rated card. It should not be on the market. It should be an SBC. So those are just my thoughts and my opinions. But again, uh, watch out for this Conte tonight and because uh, he might be coming back up a little bit in the morning because he's dropped down a lot today. 375K, he was like 400 plus K all day. So just kind of keeping an eye on that one. But should be an interesting, hopefully, week of content. It'll be an interesting week for the market. Again, one tip I'll have too is watch these cards that are not in Ultimate Tots. Again, I mentioned that. Fluctuations are huge on these items. Ben Yedder, for sure, not being into Ultimate Team of the Season, down to 1.35. Like, I've been eyeing this guy all day. Um, he's really, 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 really low. So, yeah, really watch this sort of stuff um, because that's what's hype right now is these Tots cards still these are the best cards in the game. Uh, ben Yedder at 1.3 flat on bid. Oh my gosh, this guy's going so cheap. That's ridiculous. Anyways, I'm going to keep watching this card because he's dang cheap. And I want to get involved if it's going to get too cheap because it's the Rat King. It's Ben Yedder, French Lynx, and that's still what is hyped in this game right now. But I want to know down below, what are you guys hyped for this week? Are you doing the 80-plus player picks? Because I want to know if they're cracked. I'm probably not going to spend that many coins. If I could pack Kane, that's all I want to do. Of course, I'd, tack him, I'd take Mbappe, Ronaldo, Messi, but it's probably not going to happen. So that's the Market Outlook video for you guys today. If you did enjoy it, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Accountant. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.